Hey, we're ready to continue on with uh, Tennessee. We'll ask uh, Coach Barnes for a, a couple of general thoughts on the game, then we'll take your questions just for the two student athletes and excuse them back to the locker room and then finish up with Coach. And when you have a question, if you'll raise your hand, we'll get one of the remote mics to you. And please uh, identify yourself uh, and the outlet you represent. So, uh, Coach. Congratulations to Mississippi State. Um, I thought from the get-go they came out and their plan was to really be aggressive, drive the ball, uh, obviously play inside. And um, we got away from really our defense at uh, being in gaps, uh, trying to shrink the court like we that's how we play. Uh, but we got away from that. Then I thought, uh, again, give them credit. I thought offensively that uh, we started missing shots and we let that carry over to the defensive end. And uh, we got down and um, um, it's almost like, a, you know, it just, it snowballed on us, and uh, but we didn't uh, do a very good job of staying to our game plan. And I think they, Coach Jans will probably tell you they did a great job of executing their game plan. And uh, again, congratulations to them. They they dominated the game any and every way they wanted to. All right, we'll take questions for either of the student athletes. If you'll raise your hand, and we'll get one of the remote mics to you. Okay, let's start on the second row on the center aisle. Jemai, just what do you feel like went wrong for y'all to start the game? Defense. Um, I feel like I feel like defense is. What, I mean, that's that's how you're gonna lose games. Offensively, you don't know if you're gonna hit shots or not, but you can control defense. You can always control defense, and like you know, like they like they always done. If, whether they lose or win, they're gonna stick with what they do. They didn't change whether it was the first time we played them or now. They did what they always do. They weren't trying to do anything extra. They weren't trying to do anything that they, they don't always do. So I think with us, we just got to we got to settle down and, and play good defense. I think that will get us in transition, get us some easy looks. Um, we're a good team when we're out and running. Um, but if we're not getting our defense there, our offense is going to it's just going to go downhill from there. And I think that's exactly what happened. And, you know, that's all you can say is just defensively, we weren't locked in, especially in the first half. Other questions? Raise your hand. Let's go to the front row on the right. Grant Ramey on three, Zakai. How do you guys keep this from becoming something worse? How do you turn this into something that can help y'all down the road? Uh, when we go watch the film, we can't take anything personal. And everything that we see on that film, filmed online, and we just got to take it to heart and know that if we go out there and do that again, it's going to be the end of the season. So we got to know what's at, what's at cost. Other questions? Okay, let's go to the far left back. Ryan Sylvia, Rivals. Jemai, is there any level of concern going into March Madness with the losing streak? Oh, absolutely not. We, whatever it is that we, we were doing today, we're going to get that fixed for sure. We're, I think we've shown it this whole season that we're a team with resilience. And I think games like this just build toughness for us. But guarantee that we are going to go back. We're going to look at whatever we need to look at. We're going to look at what we got to do ourselves and as a team, and we're not going to go through what we went through today. And it starts with, you know, seniors. It starts with me and Zakai. It starts with the guys that have been have been in, the, in that tournament. And, then, you know, there's no second chances from there. So whatever we need to fix, we're going to get it fixed. And we're going we're gonna, to, you know, go from there and have ourselves a, a great March Madness. Questions? Okay, let's go to the far left, second row. West Rucker, 24-7 sports. Zakai, y'all have had games this season like any team does where things just don't go right and, and you get in a deep hole. Until today, y'all usually came back and made those games interesting or even won them. Why was the why, why didn't that happen today? It just wasn't ourselves, and we can't let that happen again. Simple as that. Other questions? All right, let's go to the center, left side. Joe from The Athletic. For both of you guys, you, uh, you mentioned defense and trying to get out in transition. How much when when shots aren't fouling, how much does that affect defense? Do you think that's happened at all in the last couple of games with you guys? Jamai? It shouldn't at all. It shouldn't. Defense is the one thing that you can control. You can control defense. You can control rebounding. If you can control those two things, whether your shot's falling or not, you're getting stops on the other end. And you, you're going to make layups. You're going to make wide open layups. And that's what you get in transition. So. There's no, in no way, shape, or form should making or missing shots affect our defense. And I think that had a lot to do with what went on in this game. And I think it got to our heads. And that can't happen in basketball, man. You can't be perfect. But defense, you can do whatever you can to 
get them, stop them from scoring the ball. Is that the same for Zakai? Yeah, Jamal hit a spot on. Can't let that happen, and that definitely did happen today. Have we got time for one more question? Anyone for either of the student athletes? All right, take the last question right here on the front row. Jamal, you guys pride yourself on your toughness and physicality when it's not going well. Did you feel like you guys had the proper response today, and how do you, how do you make sure you do next week? I think, um, me personally, I think I'm just uh, really, it's really hard to be that team that goes down and is always known for we're going to get back up. I think we have to lose that and start with the team that starts off like that. And I'm, you know, that's just, that can't be us. We can't be that team that is like, all right, we're going to give them the first half and the second half they're going to come. No, that, that can't, that can't happen. For us to be the team that we want to be, it starts in the first half. And that comes from if you're playing or if you're not playing, we got to have energy. We got to come in like we're the underdog. And that's our mindset that's going to happen for the rest, of the, the rest of this season is we're going to be the underdogs no matter what. I don't care what C we are, who we're playing. It doesn't matter. We're going to be the underdogs. We're going to play like the underdogs. We're going to come back from the jump, from the jump, uh, playing defense and, and rebounding. Well, excuse the student athletes. You can return to the locker room. Thank you. And we'll continue on with uh, questions for Coach Barnes. Let's start right on the center on the front row. Rob Lewis with VolQuest.com. Coach, just what were they able to do defensively to, to make it so tough on, on you guys? Well, they were switching. And they're, I mean, they're a very good defensive team. But it, we've seen nothing they did today we haven't seen. We really haven't. But uh, uh, I just, again, this time of year, as you get late into the season, we all know each other well. but. <laughs> You have to work extremely hard offensively to get open and get your uh, cuts. Passing the ball is important. You know, we had a couple possessions where we ran what we wanted, but the pass wasn't delivered where it needed to be and allowed the defense to catch up. We didn't screen on a couple sets that we ran where they were just really came through, you know, the, the route we were trying to run untouched. And you, you've got to take care of the details offensively, and we didn't do a very good job of doing that. And they're a good defensive team. Chris does a great job with this team. And um, but I thought Jemai hit it, uh, and it's pretty much what I said at halftime. We allowed our lack of defensive uh, alertness, intensity, and sticking to the game plan to roll over. And uh, what I thought went on on the offensive end. Let's take another question on the front row. Hi, Coach Lauren Walsh from WSMB4 in Nashville. One of the players mentioned that Mississippi State was just the more desperate team today. What is a trait you're looking for in your team's response, desperation or otherwise, coming off this? Well, I told them, I said, let's just sit here and think about how we feel right now. I said, just, let's just talk about it, sit here and, and let them. I said, let's marinate in how you feel right now. And because uh, if you feel like this again, it's over. And uh, I want you to not forget right now what we did. I said, we, this time of year, you want to give it your best, you know, uh, you, You've got you've got to be, you know. Shaq used the term uh, underdog. I don't know if underdog is the right term, other than you have to understand how hard it is to win this time of year. And if you want to be a team that can play through three days and win a conference tournament, a team that can play through six days and win a national championship, there's got to be somewhat of a, you know, a desperate mindset that hey, every possession matters. And uh, but we didn't, we didn't play with that uh, type of mentality today. I, really, the first 20 minutes, I haven't seen that team all year, even including practice. I mean, I'm sitting there watching it like, man, thinking, well, maybe it might be good we get this out of our system because we haven't had one like this, not like that, this, where uh, we didn't respond better. And I thought we got impatient, lost our poise, fouling with six seconds on the shot clock, trying to steal the ball when giving up position guys. Uh, and like Shaq said, Offensively, we've won games where we haven't been good on offense, but uh, our defense has kept us in it. Our defense did not help us at all today. Let's go second row on the aisle, center aisle. Ryan Shumpert, RTI. Do you feel like there's any commonality in what Mississippi State exposed in both both games this year? Well, the one thing that they did do that you know their physicality inside. I mean, uh, but the one I think one thing good today was JP. I mean, I told the coaches. We probably should have put him out there sooner because he's the one guy that can guard post guys. But Matthews had a great day today. You know, he drove us, went by us, 
so much of that was not taking care of the details of this count report. I mean, again, uh, as you know, our coaches do a great job of the scout, but continuing to let him get to his right hand and get where he wanted to go. And then at the end, even at the end of the game, when uh, we had a, really a pretty good possession, trying to double team to get him to play quicker and getting driven by in the last four or five seconds, you, can, you can't give up those straight line drives. And uh, but uh, they, we did not do a good job one on one defense. And uh, but you know, there's other teams that have played us the way they played us. They just they made up their mind they were going to drive the ball at us, and we've seen that all year with teams doing that. But uh, we just uh, again, we just got really spaced out why I can't tell you because we, we've harped on it so much in every loss that we've had this year that's been the case where we have gotten away from our defensive present, uh, principles and allowed teams to do what they wanted to do and we didn't have an answer for it. Let's go second row on the right side. Yeah, Rick, G Gentry Estes in Tennessee. And uh, so much gets made about this time of year, having success this time of year. Do you worry that a performance like this at this moment for these guys and this team could get in their head a little bit, maybe put a little too much pressure on themselves? Well, I talked about that too. I've said I've had teams uh, through the many years I've been blessed to do this that uh, playing well at the end of the year and didn't do well in, in the NCAA tournament. And I've had a couple teams that were limping a little bit that ended up having great runs. And uh, so uh, we are who we are right now. And like Jemai said, and like we talked back there, we've got a, a week or so to fix it and uh, go back. And like he said, we just do what we always do. We have a, a system that we believe in. We got to scrub it out, look at it. And uh, it'll go back to a mindset. And that's what I talk, spend a lot of time talking to our team about, our mindset. Where is it? Where was it? And why was it like this today? Was the preparation different? It was, but we're an experienced team. I mean, normally, you know, we have, uh, you know, we didn't get, to, we didn't know who we were going to play into what, uh, three o'clock yesterday. So we we'd already practiced, and so everything we did, we walked through. And it's not that's not an excuse because uh, you'd have done that today if you won. We wouldn't be going in the gym to do what we normally do leading up to it. But with that said. Our older guys who we count on to, to get us going, uh, they struggled in a big way today. And and uh, we just got to get back to being who I who I know we are and who I think they know that, that we can be. Question front row on the right. Rick, do you worry about going from an uncharacteristic performance back to whatever the character of this team is in a week's time? Do you think that's? Yeah, I, I think you know, I, I wouldn't be truthful. I mean, I, I'm, I'm concerned. I don't know if I say worried, but I'm always concerned about, uh, you know, where we are, our mindset, what we're thinking. And uh, like I said, I've been doing it long enough to know that I, I, I wish I could had a crystal ball and could look into it and know exactly. But all we can do is, uh, we, like I said, we have a program, we have a system we believe in. Uh, win or lose, we got to do what we do. And Get prepared to play someone uh, next week, whoever that might be, and go from there. Okay, a question in the middle on the left. Rick, I know you guys took a lot of threes today, didn't shoot well, but are you concerned about some guys passing up open looks right now? <clears throat> yes, absolutely, and that's what we've talked about. Uh, again, whether people think we're putting it all on Dalton, but he's got to do a better job with his shot selection, but. He's getting – I think more of it has been put on Z, to be honest with you. I think everything get, ends up being like an avalanche hitting him because he's so competitive. And uh, uh, obviously they're going to game plan for Dalton. And because of that, other guys are going to get some opportunities and they got they got to shoot the ball. And uh, – but uh, early in the year when we were turning the ball over, it's because we were turning down shots and trying to do other things when uh, – you know, normally we get a high volume of quality shots, and you got to take the shots. You got to take them, and if we do that, most of the time we have the the floor space the correct way where we can rebound the ball and get some offensive stick backs. But when shots get turned down and guys start driving, and <clears throat> what's next? Uh, it, it leaves uh, it leaves the floor unbalanced, and we don't get what we need to off the offensive glass. I'm going to take two more questions. Let's take the front row over here, and then we'll get the far left on the second row. Steve Lehman, Channel 5 here in Nashville. Oh, Rick, you said you weren't sure about the mindset to start. Several guys in the locker room said that. Could you feel that coming into the game? Was it a surprise? And how confident are you in what team will show up next week? 
No, was I, you know, I thought we were, our, what we did leading into this was good. I mean, uh, you know, our you know, ry rhythm gets bro broken a little bit, you know, the season's over with and then you got a, a longer week. This is the longest time we've had off since our open week. And I will say this, we did not respond well after our open week, our open date. I didn't think we played well. And uh, I told the team that, that we uh, leading into that uh, game and, but, uh, I trust these guys. I've, I've been with them. I know how hard they work. I know how hard, uh, how 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 much it means to them to be a good team. I know they believe in each other. I think they'll hold each other accountable, like Shaq said. But we're going to do what we do, and uh, I go into every game thinking that uh, we're going to win. Uh, if we do what we're capable of doing, we didn't. But again, I don't I don't want to sound like I'm taking away from uh, Chris and his team. I thought they did a great job and. They deserve to win the game. They outplayed us the entire time. And uh, he's a terrific coach. But from our standpoint, uh, no, we're not happy with a lot of things that happened today and things that shouldn't have happened. And there's nothing that did happen that we can't fix. OK, last question on the left aisle. Wes Rucker, 24-7 Sports. Rick, is, we've asked versions of this question before, but with some of those older guys, is there anything you can say to them that hasn't been said yet about trying to figure out what's going on there a little bit offensively? Well, we do a lot of different things. You know, we, you know, go back, show them, get put together a video of them playing well and making shots, doing all that. We, we're we going to do it all. But I think the, the biggest thing is, again, what we've always done, we'll watch the tape. And again, the tape's going to point out everything that we've talked about. And like I said, there's nothing that they did that we can't fix, uh, that we haven't had to fix before. But understand that, uh, there's no more fixing, or it's done. I mean, you got you got to get it done right now. I mean, you can't look back and think that uh, again. That question about a mindset. Uh, you know, I thought we'd be ready to play based on what how we prepared coming in here. Uh, I just for uh, I know how bad Z wanted to play well because you know he he wasn't a part of this tournament last year. It's still, this is all new to Dalton, and he today I thought he played like it. You know. Uh, He's got to understand how he's going to have to figure out ways to impact the game when he's not making shots when other people are playing him. And one of them is just simply running the court hard and pulling people with him. But those are the things that uh, the key is that we've all got to be honest, meet myself, look at it, and see what, you know, what I didn't think we did or I did well and what our staff didn't do uh, to get ready because uh, we, we've got to avoid it some way, somehow. And I have all the confidence that, that these guys will figure that out because they have all year. And uh, we'll go back and learn from it and get ready for next week. Thank you. All right, thank you, guys.